Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been a little MIA off and on lately. Um, a lot of things are going on. You know I told you about the retreat that I do the first week of August, focused mostly on junk journaling and kind of mixed media. Well, so many of those ladies wanted to do it again, and they wanted to do it in March, and so I took that plunge, and I have to tell you, I was so pleased. I got a full house in basically a day. Um, I, I, I just couldn't believe it. I got a full house, and everybody paid their deposits within probably four days. So I knew that, you know, I had my group and it really, I, I don't know, I was so excited about it. So I've kind of been working on that already. And then many of you know too that um, I teamed up with Lori Law and she's a Stampin' Up! consultant. And she has done mostly scrapbooking retreats through the years with some other folks mixed in. I know there's some quilters and stuff. So anyway, so we've teamed up. Um, if you have not noticed, um, I've made some posts on my Facebook and um, you're welcome to come and join us, you know, if you live in our area. Um, most of our retreats are probably going to be from about central Georgia to north Georgia um, and mainly on the, I'd say the middle of Georgia to the west um, of Georgia. So kind of, you know, about a quarter or more, a good chunk of the state, but yeah, not South Georgia. So anyhow, um, we're going to do three retreats a year. Um, at least we talked about adding another one, but we'll see. Um, so we've been working on that. I recently went to Lori's. We've got some cool videos that we're going to be doing. And um, anyway, so I've been kind of busy is my point to all of this as I ramble here for two minutes. Um, but I would appreciate, you know, if you see this video and you want to come and join that group, you know, leave me a message down below and I'll guide you in the right direction to um, join that retreat group. If you've never been to a crafty retreat, um, you'll have fun with us. I promise you that. Um, and, you know, if you really want to do the junk journal one, I think I have a waiting list of about 15 people. Um, but you never know. Sometimes the dates aren't good for folks, but it's good to know that actually, I guess I have enough people that I could probably do a third one of those if I wanted to. But right now, this is sufficient. <laughs> anyway, let me get on here with what I wanted to show you. I've rambled enough. These are all Edith Holden books. And I think there might be another one out there that's pretty new. I think it's like a coloring book. But I wanted to show you these so you kind of got an idea um, maybe before you decided to order one. Now, the one that most of us are familiar with is the um, Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. Um, I don't know if you know or not, but it also does come in a paperback, and it's a little smaller, which is kind of cool in a way. Um, but it's still the same great artwork for the most part. It's just in a smaller version. So I'm not going to flip through this book all the way because most of you you know, have probably seen other videos where, um, you know, they've shown you the pages in here. But one thing that is cool about these pages is they are kind of like, I guess they are, they're like a card stock, um, a thinner card stock. So they do hold up pretty well when we put them in our journals. So those are those two. The other one that you've probably heard some about is the nature notes of an Edwardian lady. Well, I ordered this one too and I'm thinking I only have one of this I didn't realize it but I'm gonna show you here from this angle this one is so much smaller than this one well I looked and same number of pages so that wasn't it these pages are a little thicker these pages are I don't know, just kind of like pages in a book, a regular kind of book. Um, they also, it's hard to explain, it's like they have a touch of sheen to them as well. Um, 
So the only thing that I can tell you is the cover is different. I looked up the copyright on this one and it was 1994 or this one was 1989. So if that makes a difference, I don't know if this one had newer copyrights um, or newer editions, I should say. I don't know. Um, but this one was 94 and this one was 89. So that's them. And let's just flip through here real quick in case you've never seen inside of one of these. Because these are not as popular. Um, the pictures are still just as beautiful. It's the same kind of writing on the pictures and everything. Um, and it's still like a monthly diary, do we say? Um, so yeah. Um, that's that. And now let's see where I can put this at. All right, then this book the other day, I decided to try it. I figured it's Edith Holden. It's not going to be so bad. And I'm sorry, I have coffee all over me. That is coffee. <laughs> um, but this book is broken down by day. Um, and I, it's, it's like little poems. So to me, this book could be used as like maybe a devotional book. Um, it, you know, it says birthday book, but uh, let's see here too. This one says first published in Great Britain in 97, copyright 97. Um, this one says copyright 77. So I guess, I don't know, I guess maybe someone put this together in 77. I'm not finding like an original date on here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. Um, but anyway, the, this book itself here was also 87. And it looks like mostly everything was done um, in Great Britain. Um, so anyway, so that's a pretty cool book, I thought. It still has some pretty pictures and stuff on it. If you're one of those people that can tear these apart, <laughs> you're just going to cover up one of the birthday um, or the little poems and stuff. But to me, some of those are pretty cool. Like this has just the, um, the days of the month on both sides. You know, you could maybe cut one of those and have it as a little tuck or something, a little tag or something like that. So let's put that one to the side. And then this one the other day, actually, I got in and I didn't even remember ordering it. Um, so it is an address book. And let's see if it has any information in the front of it. To be honest with you, I've not really opened this one. Um, so this one says, this edition copyright was 92 by Michael Jer Joseph Limited. Michael Joseph, if I can talk here. Um, and it has had at least six impressions it's called on here so it's been copied at least six times and the first time was 1987 so again they must have gathered the images from other books had permission but i thought you know we don't really use address books very much anymore but why couldn't you just use it as a password book um i know i myself you have to change your password so much and most of the time I do use it by letter. So like my eBay password, you know, my Etsy password, you know, my Instagram password, my Pinterest, my Facebook, whatever, you know, and then some financial things and stuff. So anyway, this book would not be good, not really good for tearing apart and everything. But I thought this would actually be maybe a good gift for somebody that, um, Got some goo-goo right there. Something that needs to come off. Um, but I thought this book would be good for somebody uh, as a birthday present or something. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the Edith Holden books that I have gathered. And um, again, let you have a little peek inside. And uh, that's really it. That's the video. So again, I appreciate you very much. And remember, I do my best to do a video every Tuesday evening. Things are kind of getting in the way right now, but hopefully 6 o'clock when I do it. Um, I do have Facebook, a Facebook group, a page, and of course my own personal one. Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and I do have a small Etsy shop. Um, remember, I have blueprints in there, and I have auction tags in there. Um, 
and a few other little things nothing you know I, I don't I don't put journals or anything in there at this point um, anyhow that's it and I appreciate it very much and come back and see me and remember if you want to be included in some fun retreats here in the Georgia area or junk journal retreats in northern Alabama please give me a heads up and um, I'll see if I can't get you in <clears throat> the Georgia one you're gonna have a blast it'll be usually minimum 40 people and uh, yeah don't worry about not knowing anyone because when you leave there you're gonna have a friend I promise you at least one probably more anyhow that's it I'm rambling I got to go and I'll catch you down the road bye